Now let's come to the second question. NTC slash GTLE, numeracy October 2021, past question. That's the theory question two. Now this was the question number two. They said the graph shows how Kojo ran to a shop, spent some time there, and then walked back home on a given day. Use the graph to answer question one, question I, 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 and I, I, I. Okay. Uh, let's go to our computer-generated images. Now, this was a question. I think this was a diagram that was given. And this was the question. The graph shows how Kojo ran to a shop, spent some time there, and then walked back home on a given day. Use the graph to answer I, 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 and I, I, I. And then now the question was, what is the distance to the shop from the house? That's one mark. And I, I, how much time did Kojo spend in the shop? That's also one mark. Now, how much time did Kojo spend on the journey home? That is I, I, I. That was also additional one mark. Now let's come to the solution. By tackling the first question, what is the distance to the shop from the house? Now let's introduce our graph again as shown on the screen. Now, if you look at the graph carefully, the vertical axis represents the distance from home. And then, the horizontal axis represents the time in minutes. Okay. So, at the start of the journey, he started at the point zero. You can say that the point zero or the origin is simply his home. And, he moved till he got to a stop. Now, where did he stop? He must have stopped at where? The shop. So this point you see here represents his stopping point. Now this kind of questions are just easy because you just need to trace from the graph. Now if we drop a horizontal line, alright, intersecting the vertical axis, we can read from the point zero to that particular point. Now, I realize that this particular graph for the vertical axis used a scale of 200 meters to 2 centimeters if it was actually on a real graph sheet. Alright, so if you look at it critically, from 0 to this is 200, then here 400, then in between the 600 and the 400 would be an additional 100 that we are supposed to add to the 400 here. Okay, and what would that mean? If you check critically, this is going to simply be 500 meters because from zero to this particular point or the midway between 600 meters and 400 meters is simply going to be 500 meters. So in other words, the distance the shop from the house was simply 500 meters. I hope that is clear. Let's move to the second question and consider it from there. Now, how much time did Kojo spend in the shop? Let's introduce our graph once more. Now, we said that this was his first stop and that must have been his arrival at the shop. Now, normally when reading time graphs or travel graphs, horizontal lines or horizontal part of the graph simply re represents a state of rest. A state of rest. And that is for when you are using a distance time graph. So, from this point here, from this point here, to this second point you see here simply represents 
the duration he must have rested. So what do we do? We simply have to trace this particular uh, uh, these particular points to the horizontal axis. And when you do that, okay, you are simply going to have that means that he might have started resting from two minutes to where seven minutes because this point you see here actually lies between the six the sixth minute and of course what the eighth minute and that is in the middle of that so how would we get the time okay what would be the time from two minutes to seven minutes as you can see here because this actually represents seven minutes remember the scale also used here was two centimeters to two units if it was actually a real graph so from zero to this place is two then here to this place four then from here to here six then here to here eight but the line or the measurement did not reach eight so we have to just simply read from the two minutes to the seventh minute that you can see right here because after six you get to seven how do we get the time this is rather very simple we simply have to so the 7, you see here, we simply subtract the 2 from it. It's because within the first 2 minutes, he was walking. So we take that time out of the 7 minutes we have here. So that simply gives us 7 minus 2, giving us what? Of course, 5 minutes. So in answering the question, how much time did Kojo spend in the shop? We can simply say that he spent 5 minutes in the shop. Now let's tackle the third question. How much time did Kojo spend on the journey home? Introducing the graph once more. A return journey normally has what is called a negative gradient. Alright? Look at it. It slopes downwards. That means that it has a negative slope or a negative gradient. So, once again, this was his point of return this this was his point of return here okay and again when you trace down that means we are going to be reading from the seventh minute to where the 12 minute okay what does that mean it means that in terms of his return journey the starting point to the seventh minute isn't relevant in other words within Time zero to time seven, he was either moving to the shop or even resting at the shop. Okay, so that will simply mean that we will have to determine the time from the seventh minute to the twelfth minute. Okay, and here again, you've got to realize that we can actually trace from this particular point to this side or to the twelfth year to get our time. Okay. So that is going to simply imply that the time he spent in the shop is simply going to be, we'll subtract the first 7 minutes from 12. Okay, why? Because within the first 7 minutes, he was either resting at the shop or moving to the shop. Remember, he used 2 minutes to move to the shop, rested at the shop using 5 minutes. So that makes the first 7 minutes that you can see right here. So the remaining time you see here, must have been the time he retained, all right? So when you trace downwards, you have 12 minus 7 minutes. And that also simplifies to 5 minutes. So in other words, Kojo spent 5 minutes on the journey back to the house. I hope this is very clear. Okay, I hope you actually enjoyed this presentation. And please, if you are enjoying it, don't just watch subscribe please subscribe because our channel is still at an infant stage and leave a comment so that when we become big in the annals of history you'll be one of those who contributed to his growth